This short clip from episode 4 of season 4 of The Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch was described by Utah's Attorney General as This might be the most convincing evidence I've seen. The most convincing evidence is ever seen of something strange at Skinwalker Ranch. It does not look like much at first, just an oddly shiny helicopter. But then we see a tiny dot that looks a little like a shiny sphere. This gets the team very oh excited. My Holy cow. Various team members it's then make some claims you, about I, the object. Like there's something following the most significant thing I've seen flying next to the helicopter. We captured a clear as day UAP right next to the helicopter. This is a physical UFO with the reflection off of one side glinting off of it right. captured all on Like video. it's metallic or something. Yeah. That is a solid object with the same reflective quality that the helicopter exhibits right above it. The problem here is that this is all wrong. In fact, this might be the most wrong of all the wrong segments on Skinwalker Ranch in terms of the number of things it gets wrong, but it's largely based on three misconceptions. Firstly, there's no evidence it's close to the helicopter. Secondly, it's clearly not following it. And thirdly, this isn't the actual shape of the object. It's an artifact of the filter Eric Bard used. As you notice, it said embossed effect. So I'm, I'm applying a filter. The first issue is common in UFO analysis. Something being next to something else in a 2D image does not mean it's next to it in the real 3D world. It could be something way behind it, or more likely something small that's actually much closer to the camera than the helicopter. Something the Skinwalker team should know this, as they have previously done things like claim this dark speck was a high-speed advanced technology craft, when it actually looked exactly like a fly a few feet from the camera. But it's a common and understandable mistake. The second one is less understandable. And it's following you in a... It's yeah, like there's something following. Even if it's the same distance as the helicopter, it's very clearly not following it. It's moving in a different direction, much slower than the helicopter. You can see this better if we stabilize it and do a real contrast adjustment. It's just something that happens to be briefly in the same field of view for a few seconds, not following at all. In fact, it kind of looks like it gets a little bigger, suggesting it's coming towards the camera. I mentioned contrast adjustment, which brings us to the biggest issue, the shape of the object. Brandon and his brother, Cameron, discussed this. The reflection off of one side glinting off of it right. captured all on like it's video. metallic or something yeah but that's wrong the only reason it looks shiny and the only reason the helicopter is similarly shiny is that the video has had a filter applied to it an emboss filter normally when you change contrast or adjust levels all you are doing is changing the colors of individual pixels the emboss filter does much more it actually adds new pixels changing the shape of the object it does this because it uses what's called a convolution, where each filtered pixel is a function of multiple surrounding original pixels. So one pixel can affect many other pixels. The emboss filter also has a direction, and the end result of this is to spread out the pixels in that direction. The embossing comes in because the filter spreads dark pixels one way and light pixels the other. I'm simplifying here, but this ultimately creates the illusion that the object is being lit from a particular direction. It makes the object look shiny. So if you take a scene like this, with a helicopter and a random out of focus grey blob, you get a shiny looking helicopter and a shiny looking sphere. Not a perfect sphere, as it's spread along the filter direction, separating into light and dark. This makes it kind of look like two hemispheres. Dr. Taylor makes much of this, not realizing he's looking at a filter artifact. If you look at it, you can kind of see a hemisphere here and maybe a hemisphere that this could be. So there's simple. nothing amazing here, just a random out of focus speck that happens to float by. And the thing is, they should have known this. Eric Bard applied the filter he should know that it creates the illusion of shininess. He should have known that Taylor's speculations about the shape were wrong. Heck, Dr. Taylor should have been able to figure it out. He's got two PhDs. Brandon's mistaken assessment is understandable. He's just working with what the experts tell him. But the scientists on the team really should have known better. They should have explained the uncertainty regarding the distance, made it clear that it wasn't really following the helicopter, and they should have shown the original video which would have shown a featureless fuzzy blob. Filtering is okay. 
you can add contrast, you can adjust levels. But if you're actually analyzing what something looks like, then don't use a filter that adds pixels and don't use a filter that lets you pick a light direction to make the UFO look shiny when it's really not. I never thought there was anything amazing at Skinwalker Ranch, but I held out hope that at least the team, or some of them, were trying to do good science. This embossing of the truth has been very disappointing. Maybe it's just the editing, but the science seems to be largely absent. Should I continue following the episodes and pointing out things like this? I don't know. Maybe I'm done with Skinwalker Ranch. <laughs>